let's go ahead and get an overview of IPsec. So in this presentation, you're going to see how we can use Internet Protocol Security, or IPsec, to secure traffic in the network infrastructure. At the end of the presentation, you will be able to explain what IPsec is, describe how IPsec works, and also describe how IPsec policies work. You can secure network traffic by using IPsec so that unauthorized users or applications cannot access private data as it's being transmitted or received within the TCP IP networks. After the introduction of IPsec, we will look into an overview of IPsec, the details of how IPsec works, and IPsec policies. IPsec is a suite of protocols that allow secure encrypted communications between two computers over an unsecured network. IPsec has two goals, to protect IP packets and to provide a defense against network attacks. Now let's look at an overview of IPsec. When computers on the network communicate by using IP, they send data to each other across the network. If the data that's being sent is unsecured, then unauthorized users or applications can access or intercept the data that is transmitted. Also, if users connect to a corporate network by using the internet, the network traffic is accessible to a large number of unauthorized users. Allowing this type of network access can make the data more vulnerable to attacks and theft. However, configuring IPsec on the sending and receiving computers enables the two computers to send secure data to each other. IPsec secures network traffic by using encryption, decryption, and data signing. Encrypting data by using IPsec means that the data being sent is secured before it's sent to the receiving computer. Decrypting data that use IPsec means that the secured data can only be accessed by authorized computers that is receiving the data. Signed data means that the data was sent from a trusted source. Now let's take a look at how IPsec works. The user launches an application that requires the computer to transmit data to or from another computer. The sending computer identifies that you use IPsec to encrypt this data. If IPsec will be used to encrypt the data, a security negotiation must take place to determine how the data will be encrypted and decrypted by both the sending and receiving computers. IPsec uses the results of the security negotiation to create a session secret key that is required to encrypt and decrypt the data. IPsec then encrypts the data and the data is sent to the receiving computer. The receiving computer uses the negotiated uh, session secret key to decrypt the data. Any response from the receiving computer follows the same process. IPsec encrypts the data and then sends it to the sending computer. Now let's take a look at IPsec policies. You use IPsec policies to configure IPsec. A configuration policy defines the type of traffic that IPsec examines how that traffic is secured and encrypted, and how IPsec peers are authenticated. You can apply an IPsec policy to a computer locally or by using the Active Directory directory services. If the computer is not part of a domain, you can only configure the IPsec policies locally. There are default IPsec policies that you can use, or you can create a custom policy. However, you can configure only one IPsec policy at a time for a single computer. There are three default IPsec policies. The first default IPsec policy is the server request security policy. This policy means that the computer will always request security for all IP traffic. Because the policy is a request, both secure communications and unsecured communication with clients that do not respond to a security request are allowed. The second default policy is the client respond only policy. With this policy, the computer will communicate normally as an unsecured, and the computer will only secure communications with computers that request a security. If a computer does not request security, secure communication, the responding computer will not secure the data automatically. The third default IPsec secure policy is required security. This policy means that the computer will always require security for all IP traffic. 
This policy does not allow unsecured communication with untrusted clients. In this animation, you have seen what IPsec is, how IPsec works, and what IPsec policies are, and how they will help you secure, send, and receive IP data on a network or across the internet.